guys welcome back to my channel so we're just gonna jump right into this tutorial and I'm just taking my Jeffree Star highlighter in the shade King Tut and dusting that lightly over my lid and a little bit under my brow bone um, this is optional but I just like to do this to add a little bit of glow and dimension to my lid for just my everyday look and now I'm going in in this light brown shade from my BH Cosmetics contour palette and I'm just lightly dusting that um, in the crease of both eyes this is just to add a little bit of warmth to the face but we're really keeping it very clean not using a lot of product whatsoever and of course we are going to be applying falsies still um, so I'm just taking a little bit of my mascara this is the better than sex mascara um, in the waterproof edition and I'm just making sure that my lashes have a good coat so that when I apply my falsies they blend in seamlessly So for lashes, I'm just using something very thin and wispy and applying that to my lash line. Make sure you guys stay tuned for um, my video on how to apply lashes and how to do wing liner. Um, that will be uploaded sometime this coming week. And you just really want to make sure you get that lash nice and close to your lash line because we aren't applying liner. So it needs to be very, very neat. Now as for concealer, of course I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. I know y'all probably tired of seeing this, but I'm kind of addicted to this concealer. Like I said, to me it's a little bit drying, but it really does give me the best coverage I feel and matches me very well as well. So I'm just using that under my eyes and I'm just kind of using my soft contour method. If you have not seen that video on how to highlight and contour for beginners, make sure you ch check the description box below. I will make sure I put it in there. So that's the method I'm using today for my foundation application. And sorry if I'm smiling and laughing, I'm probably on the phone with my mom while I was recording this, so bear with me. For foundation, I'm keeping it drugstore. I've been trying to do drugstore lately just so I can get rid of some of my foundations. And I'm using my Maybelline Matte and Poreless um, foundation. And of course, just putting that in all of my warm areas aside from my highlighted areas and just blending it out. And of course, you wanna make sure you blend out your concealer very, very well. You always wanna make sure you do this, but especially when we're doing just a skin kind of natural everyday makeup, cause you just don't want any lines of demarcation. So really make sure you take your time and blend it out. Once I have my foundation packed down the way I like it, I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder and then go over that powder down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow and all the highlights of my cheeks with my Jeffree Star King Tut highlighter. The same highlighter that I use on my eyelid. This is optional as well, but I still like to glow even if I'm doing a natural look. I actually think that's when it's the most important. And you can definitely build this up as much or as little as you want to. But for me personally, I like to be being in. So now I'm just gonna set my foundation with my MAC Mineralize Powder in the shade Dark. And this just pretty much finishes off the look. And of course, I'm going in with my favorite MAC lip liner of all times, which is MAC Chestnut. And you can create your line as thick or as thin as you like it. Uh, we will just only be adding a gloss to this later. But for me, I like to start off thin, kind of apply my gloss, and then go back and forth until I create um, that perfect shade that I'm going for. So for our lip gloss today, we're just going to be applying MAC St. Germain, no lipstick underneath. Definitely want to just keep this very, very soft and easy. So I'm just applying my lip gloss and I do go back and forth between my lip liner and lip gloss until I get that perfect um, opaqueness that I like. And then I'm going to be setting my face with MAC Fix Plus Spray. This is a dewy setting spray instead of a matte setting spray to really play on that skin finish that we love. And this is pretty much the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you join the family before you go. I will be doing a giveaway very, very soon. I want to thank you guys so much for your love and support. And I will see you guys in the next video.